I'm reviewing Preservation by Nadia Reid. There are moments as a music fan where you have your breath taken away by what you're hearing. Those occasions are rare, but that's what makes them special. Hearing the opening line of Nadia Reid's second album was, for me, one such moment. It wasn't her words, although opening with the line, have I stayed with you longer than I had to, is a pretty good way to start an album, but it was the purity of her voice accompanied by nothing more than a stark electric guitar. Don't let the word purity fool you though. There is nothing pure about the lyric, there were two little words that I used, one was fuck, the other was you, but there is defiance in the heartbreak that runs throughout this album. Musically, this is largely quiet, melancholy stuff, perfect for a gloomy Sunday morning. The alt-folk elements of Reed's 2015 debut have been downplayed slightly in favour of mood and atmosphere, beautifully so on haunting single The Arrow and the Aim. There are some exceptions, Right On Time sounds like a rougher indie rock Fleetwood Mac, but closing track Ain't Got You perhaps sums up the style and longing mood of the album in one line, I'm a good woman, but I ain't got you. So Bernard, is preservation your jam? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my jam and cream on the perfect scone on a beautiful sunny afternoon, not a, not a grey Sunday morning. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I really liked her first record. I saw her live and thought she's not quite there yet live, but the songs are there. But this album, I just put it on first slide, first song, exactly as you said, I thought, whoa, mm. where, where's she come from? I already know where she was, but this, this seems such a leap. And then the album kept going and I kept finding new ways to be to be moved by it the anger was was intense the the feeling was strong it was just such a good record mm. i think when you first suggested this uh person i'm sh i think i reacted almost immediately after hearing it you probably remember i think yeah, i said something yeah. to you like who is this girl yeah because it is that reaction when you first hear this album isn't it it's like where has she been right this is really stunning actually this album is the reason I was sort of semi happy with the Laura Marling one because it was mm. so raw and emotional and real and true that the Laura Marling one, as beautiful as it was, just seemed so perfect mm. in comparison and shiny and well presented and well thought out. Whereas this just felt like there was a knife in her heart and yeah. each song someone was twisting it further mm. and twisting mm. it further. Yeah, I feel I that Laura it. Marling would not be so honest about her emotions no. because she would be too, I guess, too smart or too, you know, want, mm. want to seem too intelligent and above it. But this is, yeah, this is, it's got all of those lines, yeah, that, that whole FU line is, yeah. is great. And just the way that she deals with that, with the backdrop of these, like it's not just plotting folk stuff, there's different guitar tracks. Like some, I'd be listening to one guitar part, then here, no, there's another rhythm in the background. And mm. then, so it's really well layered. Mm -hmm. Like, so she's orchestrated some great guitar parts mm. or played some great guitar parts. But mm. uses it kind of in a sparse way, doesn't she? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's not she, overplayed at yeah, all. Yeah, it's yeah. just, and which, which just plays again mm. on that kind of heartbreaking feeling you feel when you're yeah. listening to it. Because you're hearing yeah. these things over here and over here and the, as she's telling you the story mm. here, yeah. But lyrically with that anger, which you mentioned, it really is in the lyrics because her voice, mm doesn't change or she doesn't summon some sort of growl or, yeah. or she doesn't raise it into some sort of anger but the lyrics are really biting but she yeah. still delivers them in such a beautiful beautiful mm. way she's Absolutely. someone who, who was at least um quite withdrawn mm. uh, and when she performed there, there was a real sense of someone who yet, didn't yet know how to let this mm. out yeah. um right. and this album as you said her singing she doesn't she doesn't pitch it to, to any to any great distance, but everything that she says comes packed with something, mm. and um, I think that comes partly from from confidence of having done a, a good record, but also from the lack of confidence, from not being someone who is in complete control and mm -hmm. who knows e exactly what she's going to do. There's a sense with this album of someone who's finding, wow, I can I can do this. I have this power, and she doesn't know what to do with it yet, but. What she's doing is already great. It's mm. amazing. Yeah. I want to see her live now. That, I mean, that could be the biggest compliment, isn't it? When you mm -hmm. hear a record that you just need to see that artist yeah. in the flesh speaking to you because she speaks to you with her music. Yeah, yeah. specifically a guy named Richard who she doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> One of those tracks. So no. if, yeah. if Richard is watching, oh, you did some yeah. bad stuff. <laughs> That's why I love the album cover, how Nadia is just 
sort of sitting there looking really <laughs> judgmental. <laughs> right. And it makes perfect sense because yeah. this album is being very judgmental yeah. over someone who deserves to be judged. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a fantastic album um, and I give it four stars. Very solid stars. Mm -hmm.